And a one, and a two. Quit stalling! We got man. No, he didn't. Oh. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife, Montana. Today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode six of Gravity Falls, Dipper versus Manliness. Oh, heck yeah. Perfect. I don't heck know. yeah? Heck yeah. You're funny. This has camp vibes. Feels like heck is the better word to use, you know? All right, I buy that. Yeah, but uh, I after seeing Dipper uh, go up against the social anxiety of trying to fit into the cool group, it feels like Dipper versus man... Oh, and doing the lamb dance. It feels like Dipper versus manliness is the logical next step. Yeah. What are your thoughts before we jump in? I'm curious to see if it's him conquering manliness in the sense that he becomes manly or if he conquers it in the sense that he gets over it being a necessity. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for Gravity Falls episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait uh, and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms with a new episode coming every Monday at 10 a.m. Are we excited for episode six of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Uncle Stan? Can we go to the diner? We're hungry. Hey, I'm wearing a mushroom shirt. Oh my god. I'm wearing an orange shirt. As soon as this wow. makes up his mind. Do you have this in another animal? <laughs> <laughs> Shirt. Closing shirt. them in? Shirt. Literally you. It's a difficult decision. Panther shirt. Panther shirt. What if I need both for different situations? You never know. So you I'm never do currently. know. Gravity. Very cool. Oh, I just realized that he's in the bottom left picture, the little man. Oh. Greasy diner. We have food. Wow. Lazy Susan, there's my little ray of sunshine. Where were you yesterday? I got hit by a bus. Oh. Hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> you do split plates, oh. right? Huh? Maybe. <laughs> Wink. Oh. I'll split a one-fourth of the number seven, plus a free salad dressing for the lady, and a small plate of ketchup for the boy. Did he say a bowl of ketchup for him? Yes. Wow, she gets salad dressing. Do you see that? All right. Manliness tester. Beating. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dipper, but you're not exactly Manly Mannington. Hey, I am oh boy. too Manly. Questioning the manliness. Manly whatever it is you said. It's hard to come back from that. Yes. And let's not forget last Tuesday's incident. Let's go, Into girly Icelandic <laughs> pop sensation Baba? No, I wasn't. It's not important. Wait, I need to Icelandic. hear those lyrics again. I need to hear because you know it's Dancing Queen, but with other words. Yeah. Hold on. Disco girl, <laughs> that girl is you. That's so funny. Come on, guys. I'm plenty masculine. You see this chest hair? Oh, oh, so <laughs> Fine. Family of little we'll things. see how it goes. Get ready to eat your words. What's his odds? Pretty, pretty I'm gonna slim. go with no. No. His odds are oh, no. Oh, when he's there. Time to manhandle uh, this. Oh. Manhandle. Is this how hard you can pull the handle? One and two. Oh, and the friends are there. It's like a grip strength. Oh. You got man. No, he didn't. Oh. Not the cutie He's patootie. He's just a little kid. He's like a million years old, probably. Uh, steam power. Or... I someone else oh. does it. Yeah. Oh my no. god. Yeah. Is he gonna teach him how to be manly? Is, I want that to be the episode. <laughs> Yeesh. How am I related to that? I'm sure deep down you have a soft side too. Nothing in here but a cold, dark, empty soul. Oh yeah. Thanks there, sugar pot. I, I mean, honey wasp, kitten baby, ba baby cow. Um. Silly man. <laughs> what? what was that about? Nothing. 
closet. <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Does he have a crush? Oh, yeah. You have a thing for Lazy Susan. You do have a soft wow. side. But keep it down, will you? Oh. I mean, look at her. She's so classy. Spin, you dumb pie. Spin. <laughs> you are a cranky, gross, weird old man. Oh. We will get Lazy Susan to like you because nothing is stronger than the power of Mabel. To victory. <laughs> All right. Oh, straight cream, just S salad dressing. That was salad dressing. I thought that was like something to put on a pancake, and it was just. I don't think so. I think it's salad. Earlier, dressing. when you said salad dressing oh. for the lady, just chugging salad dressing. Ugh. Oh, nasty. Oh. Not manly enough. Ranch boy. <laughs> That's me. Ranch is a salad dressing. I'm I should try salad with ranch. I'm gonna kill you. No, but I should do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was actually just thinking we should go to Osteria Luca and get the salad there. Another hydrant destroyed. We want to take off our uniforms and run around in circles? Oh. Quit reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? They're just having fun. I'm sorry. I was looking for the mailman. Are you saying I'm not a mailman? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not male? Oh. Uh. Are you crying? <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Three, four. No chest hair yet. Is He'll just physical? sprout out. Is it mental? What's the secret? You said it, brother. <laughs> I need help. Oh, no. Is he going to be the guy being a lumberjack? Yeah. Oh. No, he's running from the same thing. Oh. Um, Maybe do a better job hiding? Yeah, what is that thing? What are we looking at? Why are we talking? Oh my god. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Manly. I have a tattoo of man. Oh my god. <laughs> I use deer the antlers death. to scratch my ass. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna finish that? No. <laughs> Part animal, part human. Are you some kind of minotaur? I'm a minotaur! Half man, half tour! So did I. A <laughs> man and sorry. Turkey summoned me! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I smell. Appa. Emotional issues. <laughs> <laughs> minotaur, man related problems. Hey, you know, you, you seem pretty manly. Maybe you could. Give me some pointers? Very well. Climb atop my back hair, child. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he's just showing him how to be manly. Yeah, he, he's capable of this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's a whole group. It's a manata. Manat. We manators crash in the man cave. Oh. Uh. This is a uh, pubertor, testosterone, pituitor, <laughs> and I'm Hutzpah. My name's Dipper. Oh, <laughs> weak. The uh, destructor? Yeah, that's better. Prove not yeah. bad. <laughs> we'll take that. Teach him a man secrets or what? He's a human. I don't like him. I don't like your face! <laughs> this is how that would be resolved. <laughs> I like these guys. Oh boy. Yeah, seems logical. First impressions of the Manitar. Is that the plural? I genuinely don't know. I'm very excited about his character. He seems like a lot of fun, but also a really great compliment for Dipper. Um, just because I feel like the Manitar does not think about a single thing before it happens and just kind of does it. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought about and that. And so... Yeah. Like, Dipper never would have jumped off that thing into a wall because yeah. there are a million things that could have gone wrong. But mm -hmm. the Manitar just did just it. Just goes for it. And he can take it, a little bit of that energy and that would be helpful. Right? And, like, it was fine. So maybe in, like, an exposure therapy type way, like, maybe it'll give him more confidence in himself that, like, he can handle whatever comes up. Yeah, Because stuff is just going to be presented because the Manitar is just going to send them yeah, um, into some, whatever. So Yeah, hopefully you get some decisive decision-making skills here. But uh, I don't know if this is the full goal we want to strive towards. Oh, definitely. But I think it's like an overcorrection type thing yeah. where if he... There's a little that way. Yeah. Yeah. If he, you know, gets 10% of it, then he'll just stop spending a million years thinking about what to do. Absolutely. Welcome to the first day of whatever is left of 
your life. First, a before <laughs> picture. Oh. Okay. I never miss a scrapbook opportunity. Diddly dumb memories. Let's start out with some role playing. Sus will play Lazy Susan. Wow, soft, he's Michael. nailing it. it. Down to the eye. Remember, this is a safe, non judgmental environment. I'll just be right off to the side judging you on a scale from 1 to 10. Oh, great. <laughs> Can I borrow some money? What? <laughs> How? So many levels of not right. Yeah. <laughs> we have decided to deny your request to learn Oh, no! What? Denied? Okay. Obviously, you guys think it would be too hard to train me. Maybe. Hmm. You're not man enough to try. Uh. I have three Y chromosomes, six Adam's apples, and fist for nipples! <laughs> Do you guys hear that? It sounds like... Oh, that's weird. That sounds like... Yeah, a manifested like chicken. chicken noise. You really did. Yeah. After a second round of deliberation, we have decided to help you become a man! <laughs> Reverse Great. psychology. Love it. For your first man task, you must plunge your fist into the pain hole. Pain hole, Schmain. What happens? That hurts real bad. <laughs> what? I what bet they're happened? all lying. What happened? I bet there's in there? nothing in there. You stick your hand in the pain hole. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Inner beauty on the outside. Smile harder. 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 Yeah. It's still a frown. What do you think? <laughs> this is going to take some really great training music. <laughs> Gotta have a good montage tape. Come on. Of course. Okay. Great. <laughs> the horse is in the wagon. <laughs> I really love the songs from this show thus far. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what's been doing to the fire hydrants. Okay. Just jumped off a cliff. Ooh. <laughs> Nailed it. Definitely no. not gonna lean back and fall. He's okay. Nice. Hours. Have been, I, I hours. feel like there's really been some growth. I have a growth. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm finally becoming a man here. Not yet, Destructor. One final task remains. The deadliest trial of all. Whatever it is, bring it on! Yeah! <laughs> what is the deadly trial? <laughs> Behold our leader. Leader on! Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Is he like the <laughs> oldest or wisest or... <laughs> no. He's just the offering. That is Leo. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Did he just eat him? Yeah, the offering. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go to highest mountain. And bring back head of the multi bear. The multi bear? He's a sworn enemy. Conquer him. Let's pull that out of his chest. Yikes. Destructor, is this yours? Papa, oh no. It's friends, not mine. That's us. This. I shall conquer the multi bear! Oh my god, All it's right. fire. I kind of want to see the design for the multi bear. What is that? Is it like a bear with multiple heads? Ooh, good guess. Wow. Love a good nature right. montage. This looks fun. I bet it's going to be really cute and nice. Oh, yeah. Bear. Getting intense. What are, what are his odds against this multi bear? I don't think it's gonna go well, but I don't think it's gonna be because the multi bear like defeats him. Yeah, I think he's just not gonna want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You became. Can oh I God. Myself now. Your uncle's unfixable, like that spinning pie trolley thing in the diner. Uncle Stan, come with me. Oh, if he fixes it. Ah. Acts of service. Leave your pants at home. I don't know why that would what be helpful. Is a multi bear. Oh, oh, it's just multiple bears. Okay, so worse than I thought. Huh. Leave now or it's like, can I just have one? <laughs> you don't so need all of them. Oh boy. He it's also a said bear. the head of the multi bear, not yeah. a head of the multi bear. Yeah. Whoa. Is this real? Yeah. 
Oh my god. He just took down a bear. A real man shows no <clears throat> mercy. But will you grant a magical beast one last request? My favorite song. <laughs> ah, but you can just hit any. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Press and hold. Oh, we have the same favorite song. <laughs> All the manators make fun of me. Just oh, girl. that girl is you. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess I'm supposed to kill you. I accept my fate. I mean, what's it's manlier so than the enemy of the manliest thing? Yeah. Top forty hits are in the top forty for a reason. They're <laughs> Thank crazy. you. Yeah. I'm saying the, the truth. Is a really nice guy. Yeah. Kill the or never be a man. And I guess I'll never be a man. Nice. Who has to go build something and knock it down? Yeah, you don't want to be a part of that. No. I know he's not much to look at, but you're always fixing oh. stuff in the diner. Also, women live longer than men, so your dating pool is small and you should really lower your standards. Oh my god. What do you say? Oh no, come back with the pie hey. or something. Oh. Okay. Number! Yay! Oh yay! She sounds. She reminds like... me of Jennifer Coolidge. I was about to say that. Should I look it up? Yeah. Yep. It is her. You are Ooh, calling it left I'm and right. Go fire! You. I was about to say the Mean Girls, mom. You want to call now? Yeah. I don't have a phone. Let's buy a phone. Hmm. <laughs> he needs to pick me up. Somebody to be like, you're cool. What's wrong? It's just these half man, half bull humanoids were hanging out with me. Here we go. Oh my god. When you put it that way, it's really weird. Yeah. You were your own man and you stood up for yourself. That's manly. Sounds yeah. pretty manly to me, but what do I know? You have a chest hair! <gasps> You're right. I do. He did it! Yay! Take that, Pituitor! Pituitor. This guy has That's chest really hair. unfortunate. No! Scrapbook opportunity! Oh. If you're anything like me, there's more where that came from. <laughs> Oh, Shaved oh, earlier that day. Seriously, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. All right. Oh, not again. Message number 36. It's me, Lazy Susan, calling to say hi. My cat also wanted to say hi. Say hi, Donald. Yeah. Mr. Catface, now it's your me. Turn. <laughs> Mr. Catface. <laughs> anyway, call me. Call me back. How do I get out of this? Oh, no. What? He's already saying no. Oh. Uh. Such is life. Sorry, huh? Are you, what? I'm saying like, like if you're a crappy man who hasn't worked on yourself, you're not going to get anybody. Okay. Yes, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <sighs> if only I could be two places at once. I wonder if this is a good idea. See, this is what I mean. That, it's just gonna yeah. be like, who cares? He wasn't face down, so it's gonna be a little more on Oh! Or maybe not. Whoa. But uh, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see these episodes early in their extended full length forms. Our next episode is gonna be coming next Tuesday. We have a lot to discuss before we do that, where we're headed. Alright, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Impulsive Insomniac asks, how do you feel about Stan's view of manliness? How, how the manliest thing you can do is stand up for what you believe in. I completely agree. I think the idea of like manliness as a concept is so antiquated, but if you look at it from the sense of like, if you take the good things that the like original principles of manliness were going for, then just doing things for the sake of being manly isn't manly. Yeah. And doing things because you're your own man is manly. So it's like about phrasing it, right? It's like there's a line where doing something dangerous is like brave, but past a certain line is just dumb and yeah. it's brave to recognize that you're in danger and retreat yeah which i think it's just really all all how you think about it yeah and it's also uh, the caveat i want to say is it's manly the manliest thing is to stand up for what you believe in if what you believe in is what's right which is oh, yeah, pretty yeah. objective most of the time when it, it i mean there's obviously caveats to that like 
where you like trolley problems where something bad has to happen you kind of have to choose like the lesser right or right. Play, I don't know mm -hmm. but um on a general basis if you consistently choose to do what's right and sometimes are the only one doing that that's pretty manly yeah well I think I mean this is like a whole a whole separate discussion but like the way that people define manliness is so different for different people like I saw something the other day that was like if a man wants to be a protector that doesn't just mean stopping bears from like breaking yeah. down the front door like if we got attacked I exactly would give it no it's like emotionally <clears throat> taking care of someone and not yeah. letting someone talk shit about them and like mm -hmm. being their emotional support so for someone who's like yeah you know i cheat on all my girlfriends i'm so manly yeah how you're not <laughs> it, yeah yeah but I think it's interesting the like the way, like, the way that that a specific thing is phrased. It's like the toxic versus non-toxic yeah. manliness. We'll see. Well, that's actually a really good uh, segue into my next question, which is J. Jenny Jameson asks, do either of you relate to Dipper's experience? While this episode is very explicitly about masculinity, I'm also interested in Montana's feeling on being pressured into gender roles. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that, it, you know, like... It, it's a this reminds me of the Barbie movie in a way where it's like yeah. it's holding a mirror up to the most extreme version of a lot of male tendencies like everything I saw there I was like I feel called out and yeah it's hyperbole but like it's based in some level of truth that at a base level like all these like instincts are there and in short bursts in certain circumstances they're fun and they're useful and they're good things but like if it's all that you are is the issue like if I'm doing a sport and I like want to like pick somebody up and throw them or something like good job you know like yeah, that's, that's that was cool sport, and manly but whatever. if like all you want to do is that then that's not manly that's just being an asshole you yeah, know like 100 i think manliness is dipping your toe into that water occasionally but in the right circumstance it's having know? control over it if you don't have yeah. control over it that's not manly exactly that's just scary yeah anything else to add okay this is i mean it's not a perfect example but or it's not a perfect comparison but i think women a lot of times are pressured into this role of like prioritizing everyone else over themselves Ooh, yeah. like you if you listen to a lot of people describing the best qualities of their mother or their grandmother it's all like oh she sacrificed so much she like yeah. went without so that we could have stuff there's this very like maternal slash feminine concept that putting people in front of yourself is just what you should do mm -hmm. and then the counter argument to that is the like put on your own oxygen mask before you help someone else in a plane they're like okay even if like okay so you you want to be a caretaker you want like you want to be the best mom you can possibly be you can't be the best mom you can be if you are not getting any sleep if you're not taking care of yourself if you're not hanging out with yeah. your friends if you're not being your own person and fostering your own mental health so while from the outside and even internally before you kind of have that realization it can feel so selfish like wow what what a self-centered horrible person i am that i'm taking the time to you know like go to therapy or like you know go get my nails done like that's so i should be doing things for other people but you can't fill from an empty cup that's super interesting but that was a fantastic episode of gravity falls um thank you for watching are we excited for episode seven of gravity falls can't wait all right let's get it let's go Thank you.